Hello guys and welcome once again to another episode of our new series that we have just started so that we help you analyze your crash and boom and help you to be consistently profitable in trading your crash and boom indices. So we are still on crash 300, still on crash 300, still on crash 300. So if ever you didn't watch uh, where this analysis started because this, uh, this analysis it actually started in episode 1. Episode 1 is the previous video to this one. We'll just put it above there so that you watch it so if you don't you haven't watched the first video go back to the first video and see where where this whole analysis started and why i'm looking forward to buys why i'm looking forward to buys after certain zones have been broken so when it comes to my particular strategy and my my particular way of looking at the market this trend line breakout is useless if ever the market doesn't break structure here so this one i can remove it because it's serving no purpose if ever the market is not breaking any structure there so according to me this has just been fluctuating in one zone crash 300 has just been fluctuating once on the whole of today so if you check if ever you've got any buying opportunities from the bottom they were actually being blocked by this simple resistance here they were actually being blocked by that resistance there but what i like now what i like what i what i like is that i'm having these sort of like mini higher lows higher lows so these higher lows they are entering into this resistance being blocked by that resistance so right now the only thing left for left to happen on crash 300 is for us to break break out of that resistance get a pull back break structure then we start going up that's the only thing left so if ever you go on 15 minute you actually realize that some of these buys here personally i caught them obviously i caught them because uh, uh because of the skill and everything but those are buys that are not yet they are still not yet long term buys they are still not yet long term buys they are buys that are simply entering and coming out so basically if you check from these first buys here they never broke structure came back down to the demand from the demand here you could have also bought buying here you have you have the support and you also have this demand so you could have also bought here buying there where is your stop loss you could have bought here your stop loss just below the demand that was also a very small stop loss that was also another opportunity that you could have actually taken that was also another opportunity that you could have taken on crash 300 i'm actually showing you the trades that your mentors they don't even show you how they got that trade what they simply show you they simply show you the results without showing you the process so at the end of the day that is not really helping you so this trade you could have actually bought here bought there as it was going as it broke these other structures you shifted your stop loss to break even right now even if your, your stop loss is on break even you would still be inside the trade so as i said i'm looking at these higher lows we have this low these interesting higher lows here higher low here higher low here higher low so a scenario when you have higher lows higher lows and sort of like lower highs why are lower highs because this is the high first high here second high is lower than the first high if you check then this other one is also lower than this one so a, a scenario when you have lower highs and higher lows it's sort of like a triangle that will be forming there so that triangle what one can actually wait for for them to enter a confirmed trades is to wait for the break out of that triangle as well as the break of structure above there or the change of character above there so someone who just want to who just wants to take the risk can simply could have bought here on the trend line you could have bought here as well here you could have bought here you could have bought even now you can actually find yourself buying that is if you just want to take risk and just be inside uh earlier 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 you can actually take this buy taking this buy 
taking this buy we're expecting the break to happen to the upside so now the break to the upside we don't only expect the triangle to break we're also looking forward to the change of character here the change of character here so this is what i'm looking forward to let's break this once we break this like this i'm now confirmed i'm now confident to tell you that the buys they can now actually now start to go higher to the next level where is the next level the next level from where we are currently are uh this is a resistance one can target this resistance but if ever you followed what the, the analysis that i did in the first episode you realize that this buy can actually go further 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 up so another target also is this uh that 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 swing high there that swing high there that swing high there because according to structure that's a swing high so as i said the best way right now to best best moment to buy is after the break break out of this triangle once you break out of this triangle and also will change character here once that happens those are the best buying moments those are the best buying moments for for crash uh for crash 300 so according to structure this is a simple break of structure this is a swing lower high so if ever it doesn't break this it means it can come somewhere around those levels and still continue dropping down uh, i'm simply showing you now what can actually happen even in the future so as i said this is a break of structure here after a break of structure after a break of structure this is my lower high this is my low lower low then here once we change character there this will now be our lower low because it will be lower than this one so if you check so long it doesn't break here at the top even if it comes and doesn't break there at the top the market can still come anyway anyway here or around the fair value gap i have a fair value gap here that can also be a target because it can come and tap into the fair value gap and drop really hard all the way down so meanwhile these are our current targets we can't we can't point out to any targets higher there because if ever these short-term targets are not broken if ever these short-term targets are not reached there is no way we can talk of higher targets at the top there so as i said this so according to this 15 minute structure you can actually see that it's still according to if ever we look at 15 minute external structure which is this one it's a bearish order flow then the 15 minute internal structure which is this one it's also still in a bearish order flow when is it going to shift in a, into a bullish order flow if ever we break this this lower high once we break this internal structure lower high we know that internal structure is now bullish and the levels the targets for that are simply internal structure levels which is this resistance and also that fair value gap so it can actually come if ever it doesn't break this external structure bearish order flow it can come into that fair value gap and actually drop all the way all the way down breaking this law and establishing a new law but basically if ever you followed the analysis that i did in the first episode uh, i'm simply expecting it to push a little higher 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 so if ever now if ever it goes all the way and breaks there it means the external structure 15 minutes has shifted to from bearish to bullish meaning if ever we get any pullback those buys are now going to hold for longer looking now forward to longer higher time frame targets but so far meanwhile our targets they are here they are internal internal targets they are short term targets that are within this range within this range that i'm showing you those are where our targets are so if you if you just were listening and paying attention i said one can actually enter here on the trend line but obviously taking 
and being aware that it's a risk entry because we are still stuck in a in a in a what in a triangle that hasn't broken out so as i said the best entry for buys this or this buy if ever you enter there it's not a fully confirmed buy up until we break out of the triangle and we also change character outside there that one it will be a much better much better entry but if, even if you want to enter you can actually take the risk your stop loss just below the trend line like that uh, you can also put your target further to those levels as the market will be moving in your favor you just be shifting your stop loss higher and higher and higher and higher so this is actually a trade a trade a trade that is that that i'm currently seeing right now so when you see your mentors showing you the screenshots of their cash cash trended buyers and not showing you the thought process behind this is the thought process i'm giving you the thought process i'm giving you the why i'm showing you how they do it how they did it i'm actually giving you the keys that they might not even they are not even willing to give you most of them they are they don't even have the capacity enough to give you the keys. so this is what i'm doing so this is a very beautiful trade one can enter here that's a risk take obviously but other entries best entry wait for the break break out here change character there get a pull back into a favor get a order block blah blah then we go up target once it reaches this level you can actually shift your stop loss to break even then that those levels you can actually lock some profits because it can pull back before maybe going to break up uh, to the upside if it's going to break but so far our targets are within this range because we are within this range so long it has it hasn't broken here our targets are still within this range are still within this range so crash 300 this is a very beautiful opportunity i like what is happening the formation of these higher lows and these lower highs but what i now want what i now want is for the market to break outside of that once you break outside of that it will be confirmed now that we're now uh, going up so now as i said this buy one can take it's fine you can take that to be a risky buy obviously you can take a conservative buy you can take a conservative buy there stop loss below here then the risky buys as i said in the first episode you can wait for the change of character change of character once you pull back into a significant zone demand fair value gap order block then you can enter your aggressive trades because that will be a confirmed that we are now going up so guys uh, uh so what, what i'm simply showing you here it's also the same thing that happened even here after we established this this lower law after establishing this lower law the confirmed buys or the aggressive buys you could have and you were supposed to enter them after this change of character here this internal change of character once that internal change of character happened uh, this first time it failed then the second time it came and achieved it uh, around this level so after achieving it there after achieving that internal change of character after achieving that internal change of character and giving us a pullback in, in this case it pulled back into into a demand and also into a support because this was a support 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 put begin to a support so you would have entered aggressive your aggressive trades there your targets they are they are still within this short term they were still within this short term structure because it didn't break if ever it went on to break the, the this structure here at the top one could have actually one could have actually known that after breaking there it was going to give a pullback then going to buy for the long run but it didn't so meaning your targets were simply short term after entering aggressively here your target you could have looked to the left after coming to break this high you could have shifted this top loss stop loss of this bias to entry then as it break 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 this high you'd have also locked maximum profits because there it you see it failed to break so meaning you would have locked maximum profits upon breaking this high here so this is just the thought process this is what is happening behind the scenes these are the codes the formulas that they are using to trade to move price this is what the reef is actually using to move uh, their price on your crash and booms so guys this is what is happening as i said you can take a conservative buy once we change character here once we change character which is the break of this once we change character here wait for this once you get this change of character once you get a pullback there you can actually enter aggressive buys 
once we reach here you can shift your stop loss to break even once we reach there you can lock max maximum profits so that is the current structure that i'm looking at that is the current structure that i'm looking at right now so as i said i'm going to be so generous i'm going to be so generous and make sure that i take with you i'm going to take i'm going i'm going to actually be so generous and take you step by step before a signal before a move has happened during the move and also after the move i'm going i'm, I'm going to be sharing with you my thought process and how i've discovered the codes that i've discovered on the reef so the strategy is deeper obviously it's deeper way is deeper more than this but this is just the basics of how you can actually start to make money on crash and boom simply applying what i'm telling you here in this particular video so guys thank you for watching make sure you like the video make sure you share the video make sure you subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be sharing these videos on a day-to-day -day basis following each and every single instrument for example right now we crash 300 already i've given you some entry points i've given you some some entry criterias already and i'm make, I, i'm actually hoping and anticipating that you're going to make quite a good amount of money on this particular trade setup that i actually analyzed with you here live and i'm anticipating that you're going to make money and you're not going to simply wait for a signal from your mentor but you're simply going to actually follow the thought process that i've just given you and follow the instruction that i've given you so if ever you want to be part of my community there's a telegram link in the description you can join there there's a discord link you can also join there there's also my whatsapp number there if you want to contact me directly you can contact me via whatsapp if you want to be part of our focus mentorship you can also join us so it's, it's, it's you can you can you can join us in so many ways so many various ways you can join us and actually be part of the few the part of the few part of the few one percent two percent five percent ten percent of traders who are actually consistently profitable so guys thank you for watching thank you for watching see you in the next upcoming video